Hey everyone, this is the Q&A for trigger warning um, at Buff 2022. I'm Melinda Green. I helped one of the, pro I, myself, Kevin Monahan, and George Luke were the programmers on this block. And today we have via Zoom, which we obviously recorded ahead of time. Um, we have three of the filmmakers. Um, if you would like to go and introduce, I would actually, yes, please introduce yourself Emma and your film, and then Greg and Sylvia. Hey, my name's Emma Jesse, and I'm the writer, director, producer for, of Soggy Biscuit. Uh, my name's Greg Fox, and I'm the writer and director of Monkey Love, Please Hold. Hi, I'm Sylvia Sidem, and my film is Fob Twinks in the Rococo Gymnasium. So, Great, so Emma, since I'll go in the order of the way the films are in the block, um, Emma, to start with you, um, I think it was interesting in the film's notes, you said you heard about this from an ex-soldier in Norway, and yeah. every one of us want to know more about, yes, would love to know more about that. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, like the whole Soggy Biscuit concept got told to me at a party in Norway, where the soldier, ex-soldier, thought he was going to shock me by telling me this disgusting tale. But it just got me so curious that it got to a point he got uncomfortable because I kept on asking him so many questions. And I was like, this is great. Okay, so did you do it, did this? And then they were like, suddenly like, uh, no, 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 I, I'm going. So, and as soon as I got that story, I was like, this is so messed up. I need to write about it. it just like stuck in my head. And then I made the film. <laughs> So did he do it? He, like, tell you the truth, not many men that I've met will actually admit to doing it. They might be like, oh, I knew something that did it. Uh, but tell you the truth, through writing the script and then talking to people and then making the film, I've heard of worse games than Soggy Biscuit. Uh, like, horrific things that I'm like, that isn't a game. Like, your friends might have told you that or, like... But no, that's really horrific. So that's partly why I wanted to make the uh, Soggy Biscuit to kind of create a platform for men to maybe talk about kind of weird games or just kind of the pressures that they found with men. Uh, wait, oh, sorry, God damn it. Um, <laughs> anyway. Can you give me one moment? Oh, she's just being a little shit. Emma's dog is sick. We all love dogs, so let's all wish Emma's dog well. But I can, since we can come back to sorry. Emma. And I'm just, gonna, oh. okay. I'm just gonna, sorry about that. She's she's just a bit like, if I don't get her attention, then she will just bark and demand. Uh, but anyway, uh, did you want uh, another question? Can we see your dog? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jet, she's, she's a bit of a princess and she's got <laughs> horrific diarrhea today. <laughs> she's not feeling too well and is hungry and can't eat because um, she's on medicine. So yeah, that's Courgette. She's my second in command. She does not um, want a soggy biscuit or maybe she does. Um, I was just trying to doggy something. Anyway, I reckon she would eat it. I think she would be well up for that game. <laughs> and be giving people eye contact at the same time. She's a freak. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it is because there are so many. And when I watch, I know, yeah, because I know that there are lots of crazy, sick, twisted games like that that I'm sure probably get more twisted and sick so I thought yeah this was it was definitely me, fascinating and I wondered about soggy but you know what, how worse the games got so it's it's obviously me, what I found really interesting wasn't so much the game but the mental state the men had to be under like as a woman if you're like you can always fake it but if you're a guy you can be completely uncomfortable with the situation. You can be not be aroused, but you have to play the game because if you don't, you lose credit with everybody. And then you're trying to turn yourself on while you're feeling so horrible and disgusted while you're watching other men do the same. It's just like, 
I don't, I don't know even how I'd compute it if I was in that situation. And that's kind of why I created Soggy Biscuit, because it was the strategies each ma man took to kind of get through that ordeal. No, definitely. That is fascinating. Um, I, I want to, it's so, it's, I want, I, the thing that does kind of is rough with doing this over Zoom and not having you in the audience is that I don't think either Greg or Sylvia, you have seen or anyone seen each other's films. So now I'm like, this is, that is, um, yes, I should, I, I think, um, I may, can I send, pass along the links if that's cool, just since we're all here? Um, just to share, just because I feel like that. Um, if you're okay with that, email me and let me know. But um, I'd love to watch them. That'd be great. Yeah, if anyone's down with that. So. Well, I'm already hooked on the titles. You, you guys chose really good titles. I'm like, yes, definitely watch that. Okay, so since, no, I did say we were going to go in order of where it was, but since... We did talk about titles. I feel like that's a good a question. I'm gonna actually go to Sylvia before Greg. I'm sorry, Greg. I know you're okay. first here. But um, because all of us wanted to know which came first for Bob Twinks, the title or the movie, or yes, the title or the film, because that just is. <laughs> it's yeah. Um, like, the concept came first. Okay. And then the title kind of fell into place. So it was sort of playing around with um, different variations and uh, ended up on being Fob Twinks. It was um, originally it was a lot filthier and I kind yeah. of took it down a little bit. <laughs> Some examples. Um, Sluts was in there uh, originally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. But what? Um... I also have, I've been also, when I've been told to ask you about the penny farthing. Yeah. You found that and, you know, about, yes, this, it was, um, yeah, it's a great title. Thank you. Yeah, I actually, um, I was working out with my candelabras one day and I was like, this seems like it could be a film. So, uh, you know, I had like the, the curling, like weightlifting with the, Candelabras. I actually don't work out, so I don't know what the inside of a gym looks like. I don't really know what people do in there. But <laughs> then I was like, just trying to think of like, what are other kind of like foppish things? And I, I had this idea for like the exercise bike, you know, but like on a penny farthing. So I had to go searching um, to rent one because I don't own one, obviously. Um, and uh, that was um, a bit of a, a hassle because it doesn't fit, that thing didn't fit in any like van or minivan or anything. I had to get a U-Haul and have someone drive it because it was just like a whole thing. So we ended up making it work. But uh, I also, uh, at one point I had um, plans for one of those like bench press things that was gonna be like a guillotine to come down, sort of reference like the whole, <laughs> French Revolution and whatever, but that was cut. I couldn't find one um, in time. That's awesome. So was this, were you working out next to candelabras? Was this a COVID thing? Uh, um, was, yeah, I mean, I just, I have a large, I don't know if you can tell, I have a large collection of just Liberace stuff and um, I don't, like I said, I mean, I don't go to the gym, you know, I like to like walk or I'll go for a run or something. So I was like trying to just do more just stuff. And I was looking for something to lift, you know, I don't have weights. So it's like, oh, this, I got two of these. Just, and I just kind of found a place. I may have to follow like up with you separately over email, just because I am very curious um, about what a lot of Liberace stuff entails I may have to because that that's like that opens up a lot of other questions and one of my best friends her favorite film literally is behind the candelabra oh, so okay, yeah. I way to explain this to her so so I did but you know was this a COVID thing I think that that was another question moving into our questions for Greg from monkey love please hold um, a lot of questions about production 
Um, a lot of questions, was this, you know, a COVID type production? What, you know, what brought you there? What brought, and especially what, um, what made you decide upon the, you know, early aughts, circa 2000 internet aesthetic? That was a good question. So I didn't mean uh, to throw this to you all at once. All good. Um, so <laughs> it was a movie that took, we shot it over, it was kind of shot over a year, actually. We shot all the majority of the stuff that takes place with our main character, Ben. Um, we shot that all in the fall of 2019. So before all this happened, and we didn't have any of the computer graphics or anything like that made, and we, had, we didn't shoot all the other uh, footage of, of Katie on the other end of the line. Um, and so we were going to basically, I was going to get a cut together, get the graphics done, see what we needed to do for all these like pickups and kind of do another shoot separately. We're planning to do it ready to go in March of 2020. And then it kind of stopped and we kind of put everything on the, the back burner and basically shot that stuff exactly like a year later in September from when we originally shot the principal photography. Um, so it was kind of just a way to edit see what we needed if there was any like pickups or little story hiccups or anything we could go back and get and then we ended up shooting that um yeah a year later kind of thing um and then i guess going into the whole internet aesthetic um i didn't want to make it modern day with with facebook and cell phones and stuff like that um i kind of wanted to just kind of keep it in the early-ish mid-2000s where it was kind of a little gray area to have the kind of vintage kind of vibe and i also really like phones with with long cords and stuff as it was a kind of a prop in the in the thing it gets tangled around in it um and then yeah i guess just because it's you know the internet and people live on the internet a lot more now clearly with everything that's gone on but kind of back then i feel like it wasn't as super common and and you would you know it was kind of strange and it can be a real lonely place you know, back then, even now, but uh, just kind of didn't want to make it modern with like Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. Just keep it, you know, more, uh, more dated. Yeah. It does kind of, I, I yeah. Sorry, I for a second. Um, no, it is kind of fun to, I, I think everyone, I would hope everyone can agree that it is kind of fun to go back and tell stories from earlier days when we weren't online all the time, and like I wasn't, you know, doing a meeting in a car, um, doing a Q and A for a <laughs> film festival in a car. So, um, yes, I wish I would love to say if our audience has any other questions. Um, Greg, like Greg, do you have anything else to add? I'm trying to think if I have anything. To, um, yeah. If anyone has anything else to add or questions to ask each other, um, it's really this is the first time I've ever do, done this on Zoom. If you can't tell, yeah. so, it's usually on a stage. So um, I apologize if I am exceedingly awkward. Um, but it's been really, we're really glad that you entered your, you know, you submitted your films and that we were able to program them this year because they're all great and we really like that. Is that your? Is that a cat? Yeah, that's one. That's one of the cats. Yeah, there's two. Oh. They're they're playing around. Sorry. Sylvia, no pets. I have a parrot, actually. Oh wow. Yeah. But uh, I, uh, on here with me at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's everyone share their pets. Um, <laughs> but thanks again. I'm gonna going to stop. So. So thanks again for having, letting us feature your films and doing this Q&A on a Friday afternoon slash evening. I very much appreciate it. Sure. Um, and sure.